Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. <sighs> Sorry about this. This is just... Uh... Anyways, since the entire world is basically on lockdown... <coughs> Sorry. I'm not sick, I promise you. I'm not sick. I've decided to do some DIY projects. Yeah. 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 I've been spending an unhealthy amount of time on Pinterest like a typical house mom. Housewife, I'm not a mom. Sorry. Not a mom. That was when I came across some easy DIY projects that anyone like me can do. Um, my brain cannot handle something complicated, so this was like perfect for me. Um, and then she went and still did a crappy job. So what I needed was a crap ton of yarn baller this size and I set aside 8 of them. In my mind, that would have been enough to fill up the entire floor of the living room. But it was only enough to cover the nipple of the floor. So I started making the bullies exactly how they demonstrated it on the Pinterest. But little do they tell you that there is a flaw in the pom-pom industry. The moment you start cutting the balls, the freaking hairs come out. So I left the balls uncut. For my lazy butt, this was great news. I now have less work and effort and I'm saving time. But let's not speak about the fact that this piece of crap took me 4 days. 2 days to make the bullies and 2 days to put them on the grid. Like the idiot that I am, I thought it was going to take me a day. But I still wasn't going to spend thousands just for a rug. Since I have the time, I might as well do it myself and save money because of the frugal cheapskate in me. So if you are considering of doing the project, I would recommend doing it while benching your series. I watched Arrow most of the time and I'm still behind schedule. Please do not sit in silence because you will start to overthink on how long this is taking. You will have a mental breakdown and would want to give up. I am finally done with the bolus. Little did I know that the worst part is yet to come. So I bought this massive roll of grit from the hardware store because I did most think that I will have enough bolus for the entire room. Then I measured and cut huge pieces out of the roll to make it easier to apply the bolus. It was not easier. Without thinking of cutting the grid even smaller, I pickled on with my decision to be dedicated. For a brief moment in time, I thought of planning out what pattern to make. But then I thought I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to wing it. I struggled for hours and hours, listened to some music, groaned about my achy breaking back, staring into the distance trying to see the end. Damn, boy! In the afternoon, reality finally hit at me and I realized that I'm only making a small, tiny rug. I cut the grid smaller in my disappointment. Look at what the grid did to my couch. Looks as if I had an aggressive cat living among us. The next day I was energized and optimistic and ready to finish. It was not long, 5 minutes actually, before I sinked away in a sea of regrets. I sat in that boat for another day until I was finished. They said less is more, but in this case I wanted a rock that is more. Remember what I said about the bullies falling apart when you cut them? They still fall apart as you can see. I was too tired to celebrate when I was done. Instead I just stared at it. How do someone mess up a geometric pattern this easy? You know what? It's actually not that bad. 
the texture is nice, sort of, and I have a rug now. Here lies the rug in my bedroom, because that is where I hate it the least. So that is it for today guys. I hope you stay safe, I hope you stay healthy and please leave me a comment. I would like to know what you think of this video. Um, since this is my first video, please just criticize whatever you need to do and I hope to see you next time. Bye! My skin hates me. I don't care anymore. <laughs>